Right. Uh, but uh, 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 that said, there, there are a lot of measures we have put in place to deal with this matter, and some of which we are, as I say, intensifying, uh, which essentially uh, should be able to um, help us to sanitize the situation. One of them is the river bodies of our country, which mining is already by law outlawed. This, this mining is not permitted 100 meters away from the banks of a river body. And we've even extended it to 200 meters from the banks of a river body. So whatever measures can be taken within the context of a uh, state of emergency, on the river bodies, the law strengthens us or the law mandates us to take those measures. And, and I think my focus, and I, I believe the focus of the ministry and government, is to get on with that and or continue with that. Um, uh, forest reserves, small-scale mining is not permitted in forest reserves by law. And therefore, whatever small-scale mining takes place in a forest reserve is illegal. We went as far as in t April 2017 to, to ban prospective recognition and, and exploration in forest reserves because we found out that people came for prospecting licenses for large-scale concessions on the pretext of going to prospect, which is not supposed to be for mining and ended up using such licenses for mining. And therefore, we banned prospecting in forest reserves. The only form of mining which is permitted in forest reserves is large-scale mining. And I can count on my fingertips the number of large-scale mining operations which are permitted in forest reserves. Take, for example, Ghana Manganese Company Limited, which is the only manganese company in our country, which has been mining in the forest reserves since 1916, for almost 100 years, more than 100 years today. Organa Bauxite Company Limited, which has been mining in the forest since 1946, which is the only bauxite company of our country. Or Newmon, the world's leading producer of gold and the leading producer of gold in Ghana, a reputable conglomerate, which is mining in the forest reserve for many years. But even with those, we tend to get more uh, benefit from this mining because of the... Uh, 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 the environmental protocols or regime that they adhere to and therefore they add it on even to our forest cover so whatever uh, mining takes place the land is restored is revegetated and they engage in a forestation and reforestation program who tend to add on to our forest cover or forest resource so the, what's the point i'm making the point i'm making is that the focus or the issue has to do with how we get on with cordoning our forest reserves, and a lot of it well, is being done, actually. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jinapo, forgive, forgive the interruption, but to be fair, I think the conversation has never been about those who are mining uh, conscientiously, legally, under supervision. I think the concern has always been about those who are doing it illegally. Companies like Akunta Mining, that your own ministry had reason to write, inform them that their presence in a forest reserve was illegal. In spite of that, nothing was done. I think these are the ones that are raising concern. These are the ones that people want to see stopped, is it not? That is a legitimate question. And I've been working with the Forest Commission for the past four years. And I want to see on authority, uh, Kojo, and, uh, in all humility and modesty, that the forest officials of the Forest Commission have done such a wonderful, such a, I mean, they've, they've done some tremendous work. Uh, we, we, we are not out of the woods. We are not in a satisfactory situation. I don't suggest that every forest commission officer is above reproach. But by and large, they put in their very best in cordoning off the forest reserves of our country. This particular incident you are talking about, it is the ministry and the forest commission that took action, that, that flashed out whatever activity was taking place in that particular forest reserve. And um, the point I'm making is I've had calls well, you say you took action, mining. but uh, respectfully, no, nothing was ever done to Akunta Mining. Well, but the point I'm making is that the, the Forest Commission took steps to um, um, rid um, uh, that, that part of the forest reserve of whatever activity. Akunta Mining had made a claim that they were uh, uh, just uh, in making preparations for alliances and so on and so forth. But the Forest Commission did not take care of that. They acted, they investigated, they prepared the report. The report was sent to the Interior Minister to be forwarded to the Inspector General of Police. That is the, the, the extent to which we can go as a ministry and as Forest Commission. The rest of it will fall in the law enforcement and prosecutorial agencies of our country if they were to 
deem it right. legally fit to proceed in a particular manner. 